Hello and welcome to the channel, Unity151. My name is Joe. I talk and review about space opera, military sci-fi, and book based along them lines. Today's video is this one here. Scott Moon's Invasion Day, book one. Um, it was a really good book. I had an itch there, sorry. Really, really good book. Make my life easier. I'm not gonna hold this up all day. And every video, I stick a link up here. Not a link, one of those pictures right there. Yeah, sorry. Uh, right, okay, that's that. Right, let's get on to the five topics that I like, and then we're going to do a non-spoiler review. My five categories are story and world building, characters, battles, technology, machines of war, aliens, and all who the enemy is. Finally, it's the first time I've ever done that in one whole video. I'm doing it enough now to remember. Everything in this video will be done without spoiling. This is a non-spoiler uh, yeah, review. If you want the spoiler one, there is the link. Oh. I think I got that right this time. There's the link, click on that, watch that one, or watch this one, then go back and click that link. That would really help me out. Smash the like button as well, please. I'm gonna read the summary. I'm gonna read the summary. No, blurb. I'm gonna read blurb. Summary's on the I'm gonna read, read, read the blurb on the back of the book, and then we're gonna talk about that and the five points with, you know, without spoiling anything. Now, I think this is his second name. David Osage. I think it's Osage. O-S-A-G-E. Osage. Hmm. David Osage, if I'm wrong, I apologise. David, David Osage is a dangerous man with a dangerous past. He's actually not, he's actually like a really nice guy. I just, you know, Scott, you're doing terrible deeds to him, and this guy's a, he's a really nice guy. Anyway, I don't know. but these days he's just trying to keep his head down. Driving big rigs, one night he saddles himself with a, hot, a hitchhiker, a nuisance who's, <laughs> who's more than she seems. And that's when everything changes. No one was ready for an alien invasion. Death is raining from the skies and the only question left to do is run. Fight or submit. For David Osage and his family, answering, yeah, answering is the easiest as giving the alien invader, invaders the finger. Answering, answering is the easiest. Let's give it one that makes sense. Anyway, I like this book. This was a good book. This book took me a long time to read because I was just having a terrible time reading. But, they wouldn't have if I was actually reading it all in one hit. Good book. That's the blurb, blurb, blurb anyway, if you think about it. So this is the first book of Scott Moon that I have um, read. I liked it that much that so I went and bought another book. I can't remember what the other book's called. Ah, something sun, burning sun, rising sun, something along the lines. I did show it in my book haul one. Anyway. I have bought Resistance Day, which is the next book, book two, because I enjoyed this one. Um, I think his third one's coming. He's either it's out or not. Hopefully it's not out, because I'm just, I'll, I try so hard to keep up with everyone's books. Anyway, third one's coming out, or out. I'll get that, and the fourth one. Really like the books. And then, yeah. Let's get into my personal ranking. So we're going to do, what is it? World building, world building, that's what we're going to do. Story and world building, told lie. Very interesting, it was a very interesting story. There's a lot to the aliens story, which was interesting, and you do find out, I like the fact you find out from the aliens what their plans are. Um, the aliens have got a bit of a twist to them. What the aliens are is a twist, as well as something that happens to them and affects them. Um, yeah, so like it's, it's a very good, very good story. I really enjoyed the story. It's in modern times, now times, present times, minus the virus. Um, yeah, the aliens obviously invade Earth. Um, doesn't go very well for the humans. Most invasions don't. But again, there's a twist to why they're here. You know, it's like a twist. It's not like oh my god, but you know, what I mean, it's like twists. There's, you know, they're not just here, like most aliens are here to conquer, kill. You know pillage and all that stuff they've you know they've stopped off here for a reason to continue on what they're doing which again is very interesting to the alien backstory i liked there was a lot of detail about the aliens you know and what they're doing and stuff and I, i'm looking forward to find out more about them and everything that's going on so with this as vague as it is because i can't spoil it i'm going to give it a four out of five characters well so you have three point of view characters obviously it's david Talk about David to a degree. Can't talk about the other two. Don't want to give names away. Don't want to spoil. Um, David's interesting. He's not as bad as the blurb said. He's 
he's a bit rough and a bit gruffy, but you know, he's a decent guy. You know, he helps this hitchhiker lady who she's she's another main character. She's pretty equal to David in a degree, but like she's not a point of view character. There's a reason why she's not a point of view character. I enjoyed David, I enjoyed the other two characters. In a way, I enjoyed the other two characters more because you found out a lot of information through them. David's character is more, I'd say more, of where the action happened. But you see action through the other two characters as well. But you get a lot more information out of them. But I like them. It's fairly... It is balanced. It's not balanced. But whatever way, the characters were good. I did enjoy the characters, to be fair. All the characters are linked, but they all have different paths. So you see the invasion and the fights from different perspectives and over different times of what happens um, which was a very nice take I did enjoy that as well so the whole story was nice or the character was nice I mean um, I, I, yeah I enjoyed the characters and everything I'll give them a good four out of five they were they were four out of five then a lot were the battles now the battles they're small scale you know there isn't mass wars ships everywhere and stuff like that you have one big naval battle that you see through a monitor screen that one of the characters is in the room, room, room witnessing. Personally, I would have liked more of that. Um, you have car chases, lorry chases. Now, it's not silly car chases. It's not like, you know, like Fast and Furious or something around, like, you know, the, the, you know, they're trying to get away from the aliens and stuff happens. There's ships, there's fighting, there's ground, there's some ground fighting, there's a bit of inv invasion, you know, sneaking around. It's quite good. It was fairly balanced. I just personally, for me, you know, it's an invasion day. I want to see a bit of fighting on the streets. There wasn't really, you got a glimpse of it at the beginning and I really, I liked that tease. I thought, oh. You know, we're gonna see. You know, this is how it's starting off like this. And you didn't. You just didn't get no more of that. You saw like the aftermath, 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 whatever of what happened. But that for me, that sort of it let me down a little bit. Just not seeing whether it's the the Marines, the armies, whoever fighting. You know, that that, that I just would have liked a bit more of that as the characters were travelling. But then the way the story went, I don't know whatever way. But I enjoyed it. It was good. But I just felt, a, I, you know, that's just that point I felt a little bit. So it's still a 3.5 out of 5, which is still good, you know what I mean? I, you know, 2 out of two out of 5 is a good book for me. You know, this is a good book. I really enjoyed this book. But I just feel like, the, even though the battles that you had were good, I just, for me, felt that a little bit more of the initial invasion I personally would have liked, personally. Technology and Machines of War. Now, machines of war wise, you've got spaceships, um, you've got normal, you know, what we've got, you see a little bit of human stuff, it's not really that interesting. So you've got spaceships, the armour that the aliens have, um, they've got some ground vehicles, different sort of spaceships, you've got spaceships, that, I think they hover, they sort of go up and down. It kind of reminded me of what um, was from... Battleships, the movie, that's kind of what the alien ships vaguely remind me of. You know, they're not like that, but that's just, just the way sort of like jumped around. But they weren't doing that sort of like hovering over the things. They're, you got them, they're very inter they're very interesting. I do like the um, the ships and stuff. The, the effects of travelling, because you know, this is a bit of te technology, travelling, how they do their fast and light travel. There's a very interesting twist on it and what they need to do to survive the travelling. Part of the reason why they've come to earth there is another method of traveling as well but they don't have um the ability to do that they need to find a certain something to do this it's quite interesting and that ties into some of the characters and some stuff that happens and i kind of i did guess that from the beginning as it was going on but it was good i did like that so um i'll give that for me um i'll give that four out of five that's a nice four out of five that is Aliens and who the enemy are. Now, the aliens and the enemy are the same people. I like the aliens. I thought it was quite interesting. Um, Fosca? Fosca. F-O-S-K or H. Fosca, I think they're called. They're really cool. I like them. Scary. Wouldn't want to fight one. You know, I think I could do okay in a fight. Not against one of them. You know what I mean? No, not going to happen. 
The easiest way to explain how they are is, imagine, I think, I think they're blue. They've got like human face, forearms, normal face, not human face, like alien, the monsters look scary. They've got teeth like, ah, they're a bit bluey skinned. There's more than one type of alien, they're not all the same, which that's a detail that I like. I hate, I really don't like where it's like, you see an alien, all the aliens are the same. No fat, no thin, look a bit different, stuff like that. There's not stuff like that, but it's just different, different look ones. They've got different names as well. It's like Fosca. I hope it's not spelling this mistake, but there's like a Fosca, Fosca, and there's different sort of things. They've got their first name, like Anna, or not Anna, but like something Fosca, or something Fosca, which is interesting. Um, yeah, so they're basically scary, nasty monsters with their like, rah, rah, teeth, bluish, I think. And they're basically space vampires, but they're not like a normal vampire, you know, like, ah, bite you in the head. These are like tongues. They're kind of, they're, they're, and they're like, bang out, and they, you know, they get you, and they, oh, horrible creatures. These things are nasty. Um, yeah, no, they're, they're really interesting aliens, these are. And I do like them, and I like, they've got a bit of, hi, 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 not history, you don't learn that much, but there's a nice little bit of tease. They've got a bit of a, a squabble going on. I believe they're at war with someone else or something along them lines. So that's very interesting. I like um, there's a, something that happens with the with them with something on Earth, which then makes some of them go a bit crazy. So they have a, like a little bit of an inter not an internal war, but a bit of a disagreement with each other, which is very very interesting as well. I like it. I do like these aliens. They're um, they're quite good baddies, but they're not all bad baddies. Like, you, you do meet some Fosca who, um, I mean, they're all full of Fosca way, but they're not like some of the Foscas. They're, they're very, there's, there's a nice pool of different types, and you see some are really, like, you know, lumps of wood. They're very um, uh, straight edge, with some are a bit more chilled and relaxed, a bit more talkative, and they have to learn English, and... There's a little AI as well, which sort of helps one of the characters do some stuff, and it's I like that little bit of um, chatting between the AI and that, so that was really good as well. That, that's a, it's a solid 4 out of 5 for me, I really enjoyed that. So that's that, I'll give it on that. So this is a 4 out of 5 book, it's a nice 4 out of 5 book, I enjoyed it. I bought the next one, Resistance Day, I'll probably like that as well. I'll get the third one, I'll get the fourth one, I really like it. I enjoyed doing a review of this, I just wish I actually... For me, I just wish I actually read it all in one hit and not dragged out because of what was happening. Hopefully, in the next one, for me as a fan, as a, you know, personally, I would like. I don't know the battle. Just I, I don't know. Just because me, I like. You know, I want to see the army or the marines, whoever. We saw a bit of naval. You know, you see a little bit of naval, a bit of planes fine, but not really massive. I, I would have liked to have seen the initial invasion day the evasion going on and a bit of fighting. But, you know, it didn't take away from the book. I still enjoyed it. So with the next one, which is Resistance, I'm guessing you're going to see a lot more fighting, you know, guerrilla warfare going in there, trying to fight back and stuff, which should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I haven't got a clue what the next book's about. I do follow Scott Moon on whatever his videos and stuff he does, so I've got, I've got a bit of an idea of their background and their history. But I'm interested. I'm interested. It's a good book. Get it. I advise people to get it. I like the book. Get the book. Please like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. It's a getting it on the hot side. Hot side. Over life. Hot life. David. Oh, messed up straight away. Ah. Alright. Let's get for Scott Moon review of book. YouTube. No, not that one. Gone onto the wrong video. Where's it gone? Ah! Invasion die! That's the one we want!